Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock, and do not adjust your screens. We are in Minecraft. Maybe an environment and a game you never thought you would see Nock in, but I'll get into more detail about that in a little moment's time. Hope you're well though, guys, and welcome along to the start of what I want to be my new series on the channel, which is going to be a Minecraft Let's Play. So let me give you a bit of background information about why we are playing Minecraft and why we are on here. About four to six weeks ago, I really got back into playing Minecraft. I started playing Minecraft way back when it first came out nine or ten years ago, which is mad to think this game has been around for such a long time. I've never really played too much Minecraft though, because I've never played with other people. I've always been on solo worlds, working on solo projects. As a result, Sometimes it can get a bit stale, you can kind of get a bit bored, and yeah, you kind of don't play as often as you'd like to. Well, that's how I feel about the game anyway. However, over the last four to six weeks, I have got back into Minecraft, and to be honest, I've been really enjoying it. You know, there's something about me at the moment where I just like exploring and playing different games. Don't get me wrong, I still love all of the classic games that I own, but sometimes it's nice just to have a bit of difference. And there's something about Minecraft at the moment that I've really, really been enjoying and really, really getting into. And to be fair, I want to carry on playing and exploring this game. It kind of helps as well that my kids are really into Minecraft. And I've spent quite a bit of time playing with them on the console edition, but it doesn't quite compare to playing the Java edition on the PC. There's just something about PC version. It's so much easier to play than on a console. So I've been playing a lot of the single player version on my own, as well as trying to be active on a server. The problem I find with playing on the server as much as I like playing on there, I'm working on projects, is that I'm not always around when the server is online. Because the server can't be kept online 24 hours a day, it's kind of difficult, and most of the people on the server are on the other side of the world for me. So time differences and things don't really work in my favor. So I've been playing solo and I've been getting so much done. I've been building farms. I've been getting into villager stuff. I've even defeated the end dragon legitimately for the first time ever since owning Minecraft. So with all that in mind, I thought let's bite the bullet. Let's create a YouTube Let's Play series of Minecraft on the channel. Something I would never ever do. Just, you know, try something a bit different see how it goes down and you know what it may not be the most popular series on the channel hey it may get no views at all but you know what i really want to try it i want to do something different so this is the start of that youtube series now we're not going to be playing on this world this is just sort of like a staging world i i jumped into so just to talk to you and walk around and explain what i am going to be doing but i have got some ideas in mind so first and foremost there's going to be no set schedule for this series. So in the past, I've always tried to have a set schedule of things on my YouTube channel. Go and have a look at my Portal Community Chambers series, for example, where I was having a new Portal 2 community video every single day. Now, whilst this wasn't too much of a bad thing and it was something for me to work towards, there was always an element of pressure. Pressure that I had to record the video and I had to have enough backed up content if I'd got other things in place and couldn't record videos. So sometimes it felt a bit rushed. This series, I don't want to do that. I want to take my time, I want to enjoy it, and I want to try and bring some really good videos to the channel in the form of this Let's Play. So the idea behind this series will be each episode, I will look to complete one or more tasks. I'll lay out the tasks at the beginning of the video and then I'll just work away. Whether those tasks take me a day, two days, a week, or even a month, I won't release and finish the video until the task has been completed. I think it gives a bit more structure to the video if I can do it that way as well. So don't expect a set schedule for this series. With regards to the world, I've got a good idea for the world. We're gonna use a random seed and I have an idea for the seed that we're gonna use. But it's gonna be a survival world I'm not going to have seen this world before. Everything is going to be brand new. And to be fair, I'm really looking forward to the challenge. So I suppose I've explained everything that I wanted to explain. And we've pretty much talked through everything. So I guess that all that leaves me to say is, um, yep, you got it right. I'm a chicken. Yep, this is me. I am the Lord of the Chickens. So if you're wondering why I'm Lord of the Chickens... Basically, on the multiplayer server I've been playing on, I kind of have a base full of chickens, just for no apparent reason. I just kept breeding chickens, and I got a massive stockpile of them. 
So the running joke became, and a member on the server decided to create me a chicken skin here in all its glory. And you know what? I quite like it. I quite like it. But anyway, that's enough about me being a chicken. Let's go and generate our Let's Play world and we can begin our YouTube Let's Play adventure. Okay guys, it's time to create our new world. So let's jump into create new world. We're gonna call it YouTube, just so I know. And you remember that I said previously that I was got an idea for a, a seed. Well, we're gonna call it Lord of Chickens, of course. So there it is, there's our seed, and three, two, one. Here we go. And here we are. We have spawned on a plane with some right rather hilly terrain around us. And uh, our YouTube Minecraft adventure is a go. So of course, we need to gather up some resources fairly quickly. Then we can proceed to our other plans for the episode. As with any Minecraft starting out world, we're really going to be focusing here on just gathering up a few resources and then we're going to be traveling. We're going to go look, see if we can find somewhere cool to do our starter base. And then some sheep over here. So let's, uh, first and foremost, let's get ourselves a crafting table. And we'll get an axe as well. Just the other side of that ravine there. We've got some sheep and some chicken, which we need to gather up some food in the early stages here. So chicken kind of feels like cannibalism. It will do when I'm eating these chickens. I'm killing my own. Can't remember, do we need, the, I think we need the same colored sheep. So we need to find another white sheep potentially here. Man, having played with like good tools for a few weeks, it's really bad to go back to wooden tools. Ah, we have some coal and some iron, ka-ching. Uh, can I mine iron with wooden though? I don't know if I can. Let's play it safe. So we're upgraded to a stone pick now and we can now get this iron. I wasn't sure whether or not we could take the iron with the wooden pick. But this is a good start. This is a good start. So I've got my sheep. We've got quite a nice amount of resources, some food, some wood. I'm just going to grab a few more blocks of wood over here. And then we're going to craft a boat. We're going to have to sort of get moving because time is getting on in the Minecraft world. And it's not going to be long before it is dark. And then we will be in some serious, serious trouble. Okay, we have a boat. Let's take our crafting table and let's get moving. Oh, sugar cane, that's always useful. Sugar cane is always useful. So we need some seeds. Can we Maybe get some seeds? I swear down, any other time when you don't want them, you get hundreds of seeds from grass. But just thinking about start farms here, we need some wheat and sugar cane. They're going to be um, very important early farms for us here to get paper and wheat because wheat is a great source of food and for villager trading once we get along there. I had a bee hive in my village. I My solo world, I started in a village and there was a beehive on a tree. Speaking of which, there's a beehive right there. And it was all good, but then the bee kind of disappeared. I don't know where it went. And I and as a result, I only ended up with a single block of honey. Now, what's that over in the distance? Is that a village? I don't want to, I don't really want to impede on any villages too early. If only we had a saddle. There's like loads of horses in this biome. But yeah, the sun is com starting to come down on us here. We're going to have to dig into the side somewhere, I think. And, um, set up base. I wanted to get further away, if I'm honest. I wanted to travel many thousand blocks. Is that village? That's a rather odd looking village. Oh, there's a jungle biome over there. Nice. Maybe we can, maybe we'll head over to the jungle biome. All right. So this is definitely a village. I don't want to get too close to this village because it will be useful in the future. So let's move away. I don't want to get the village to get destroyed before we have even had a chance to sort of do anything on the server. But uh, we could potentially use that village later on. So yeah, I'm going to dig into the side here. This is going to be our start hut. I didn't quite get far enough away as I would have liked from spawn, but 
we can start out here. You know, we have we have a village quite close by. This is our starting base. We've been busy just digging out an area and smelting up some stuff. Uh, we've got some good bit of food going on, which will keep us going for a little bit. You can see I've also made an iron sword and an iron pick. I was I kind of came into the bunker thinking I need to um, I need to ride out the night. I need to remember I already got enough wool for a bed. Oh geez, I'm so used to diamond swords to take out these creepers man this iron sword is really taking forever that's us killing the first creeper of the world i remember when i used to play when back in the day when i used to play minecraft coal was so difficult to find and i don't know what what i don't know when they changed it but it just seems to come in abundance now it's really easy to find really easy to get your hands on i mean i've been out here for about five minutes and already i've got a full stack of coal Okay, so I said that I potentially wanted to go somewhere else and further away from spawn, but that's a jungle temple. That's a village. I mean, we've got so much around this area. It seems such a good place to do a starter base. Villager trading, jungle temple... Anyway, we're, we're getting kind of distracted here a bit from what we, we want to do. Our, our goal here today was to set up a starter base, gather some resources and some food, and then head down into the mines. So I'm going to get some more food quickly. We'll um, cook it all up, and then we will head down into the mines. So I don't know if killing all the cows in the vicinity of this starter base is going to be such a good idea in the early stages, because I found that leather is a very important resource in this game very early on, because you need books, uh, you need item frames when you're looking at doing like good sort of storage systems so uh, maybe i shouldn't have killed the cows uh, i don't know we'll tackle that hurdle later when we get to it but i'm sure the cows will respawn right i'm confident that we'll get the cows to respawn okay so it's progress update time it's the end of day two the night time is drawing in and i'm just prepping myself ready to start going down here into the depths of my bunker and do a bit of a mining session to gather up some of those important resources. I'm all prepped to go. As you can see, I've got some tools running in spare here and some sticks. I take sticks because you're often picking up coal along the way so you can build more torches if you run out. Some blocks, of course, they are very important. The only thing I would have liked and I don't have is a bucket. Okay, ignore what I just said. I have got enough for a bucket. So I crafted a bucket and then I also remembered I like to take trapdoors down. I found recently that you can actually mine pretty quickly and get initial resources fairly quickly using the crawl technique oak trapdoor. It's also a lot safer. You don't encounter any mobs along the way. So at this moment in time, I'd just like to say who on earth came up with the crafting recipe for trapdoors? It's so expensive. If there's a more expensive recipe in Minecraft, I haven't found it yet. Yeah, I think we're about ready to go. Let's begin mining out our area here. Okay, so we're down to about level 34 here, I think. And we have come to a bit of a cave system going on here. So, yeah, this is where things start to get a little bit scary. Okay, so let me kind of explain the way I kind of navigate caves. I've always been quite wary of the fact that it's easy to get lost in these sorts. Oh, this is a nice ravine here. We'll definitely have fun exploring this. I've always been quite wary about the fact that it's relatively easy to get lost in these sorts of environments. So one thing that I like to do is I always place a torch on the left-hand side as I go into a cave system or into an underground area where I think I might get lost. That way, when I'm coming out, I know that if I follow the torches that are on my right, eventually I'll always find the exit. Or at least that's the theory anyway. So yeah, that's the way I kind of explore these cave systems and stuff just carry on here and, and see what we can find i mean i can hear zombie noises around i wonder if there's a possibly if it's just zombies above maybe there's a spawner i need to understand like cave noises a little bit better in this game as well but let's go back to exploring a little bit more okay i think this is a first for me on minecraft i don't think i've ever found emeralds just naturally in a system anywhere I've literally just come down from where I was digging before. I've just cleared out this area and, and come a bit further down. I think this is the, my first ever emerald I've ever found. I knew that they were they, they could occur naturally. I've just never ever found one. Can silverfish spawn in 
cave systems? I just had a silverfish attack me and I thought silverfish could only spawn in cobblestone blocks around a fortress. Have I found a fortress in my first episode? We found our first diamond. Although it's only a single diamond, that's a bit disappointing. But yeah, we have a diamond. And to be fair, I'm not exactly trying too hard at the minute to be doing like any sort of useful mining. I'm just kind of going around here, randomly mining stuff at the moment. But what I will say is there's no sign of that fortress that I thought. So can somebody in the comments let me know about silverfish i'm really quite confused i thought silverfish only came from fortresses really quite bizarre we've made it down to y level 10 here and i'm going to start doing my crawl mining technique so what we do is we use this trap door here to push us down into a crawling state like so and this enables us to basically mine on a one oh my goodness that is <laughs> insane so what I was saying was it, it pushes us into a, a crawling state here. And with this crawling state, we're able to basically crawl in a one by one block. Don't have to worry about mobs coming at us. And we could just crawl along in this tunnel and it kind of halves the amount of mining we need to do from what I would normally do in a strip mine, which would be a too high column. But I can't believe my luck. I've literally just started out and we have found a four, five, an eight vein. Wow, well, my goodness, no, nine, a nine diamond vein. That's incredible. <laughs> what I normally do as well is when I find diamonds, I just mine around as well, just in case there's anything else around here. But that's an amazing start, an amazing start. Literally three blocks in to mining this whole sort of section and we find diamonds straight away. So this is why I carry extra trapdoors. When we get any diamonds, I can push myself back down and uh, we can block it back up to a one block height. And then on our merry way we go. So, so let's carry on. Let's see if we can get even luckier with this. Oh, that's not luck, that's lava. Okay, I found more silverfish. So I'm not going crazy. I am not going crazy. Where are these silverfish coming from? I mean... <sighs> Seriously, there's somebody in the comments. Can you tell me? I thought silverfish could only come out of stone blocks. Like stone brick blocks. I'm so confused. So it turns out I'm a complete and utter idiot. So I've been mining on and off over the last few days because I've not really had like a defined time period to sit down and do recordings. So I've re-logged in today and I don't know where I am. I've been to both ends of this mine shaft and it, it's all blocked in. I genuinely, I, I don't know how this has happened. And what's even worse is that my pickaxes have broke. So... I'm a little bit worried that I'm lost. I think what else is quite important to take from this as well is that, um, you know that system I said I had for placing my torches so I didn't get lost in caves? Yeah, I, I think that's gonna need some work because clearly we're still getting lost. Okay, panic over, panic over. I know what happened now. This was a lava room. That's why all this cobblestone's here. And I remember now what I did was I tunneled away from the site to get away from the lava and then I carried on tunneling down that one. So that will take me back home but I haven't fully taken that tunnel all the way to the end of where I need to get out of this little crawl space. So if I follow this down here, this should let me out. Yes, we are out. Okay, panic over. Let's get back to the base and make some more tools. All right, so we've done about two hours total of mining. Yeah, my inventory was full. I had to come up halfway to replace some tools because I ran out of picks and I made a, myself a, a diamond pick while I was there and three iron picks. And this is basically 
our bounty from uh, our first two hour mining session. Lots of redstone, lots of coal, lapis, 25 diamonds. Although I actually found 28. I've used three of those diamonds for my pickaxe. Six emeralds, 38 gold ore, and then nearly three stacks of iron ore. So I think it's safe to say that it was a pretty successful mining adventure. And yeah, that's probably where we're going to wrap things up for this episode today. Thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Like I said, we are going to be just plodding along at my own pace here, doing bits by bits, episode by episode. So this one's probably been recorded over the space of about five days, I think. I've been coming on and going off and doing mining and, and doing various other bits and pieces. And like I said, I can't always commit and play in solid chunks which is why i want to do this series the way i proposed it at the beginning of this episode if there are glaringly obvious things i'm doing wrong in minecraft and uh, anything i've done in this episode please do let me know i'm no expert by any means i'm just a guy who's casually played for the last nine or ten years and i really want to just play a let's play there's so much of this game that i still need to learn so if you do have any hints or tips or suggestions for things that i can do to get better please do leave them in the comments. Also, if you know the answer to that silverfish problem I was having earlier on, do let me know in the comments. I'm really still perplexed. I don't understand why there was silverfish down there in that uh, mine cavern. Like I said before, I've only ever seen silverfish in a stronghold. So yeah, very, very interesting indeed. Anyway, in the next episode, we'll probably look to start expanding our base. So until then, thanks for watching and goodbye.